How's it, guys? It looks like uh, they're ready to go live. Um, we, I'm going to be tuning into the CSGO uh, game shortly. Uh, tonight's game will be EC versus the third DC team, a new team that's been put together. Uh, Ex-NAV players, of course. Um, it's going to be quite fun, I, I rate. Um, I will be solo casting this game, so, you know, anything can really happen, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> at this moment in time, I'm just quickly going to sort out the sound for the game so that everyone at least can hear... Just give me a second. All right. Cool. So we're almost ready to go. Um, the EC side, obviously the X SSG Dream Team, uh, that ended up fourth at Rage um, this year. It was quite an interesting uh, to watch them play. They took out their their brother team uh, SSG Cream quite early in the playoffs. Well one of the playoff games. I'm not sure if it was a semi-final or not, but it was quite interesting to see. They showed a lot of tenacity and a lot of strength uh, on their maps. It's going to be quite interesting to see. It looks like uh, the DC side will have two subs uh, tonight. Uh, Delinquent playing for Yakuza and then obviously EN, uh, TC, which, um, you know, uh, is part of the Team EN, obviously, that came third at, uh, at Rage this year. So the confirmation has been given to me that they are ready to go live. Uh, we're just waiting for the restarts and then we're ready to go. Cool, it looks like the restart has been called. And EC Wall, uh, obviously the first map they're going to be playing is Dust 2. Uh, Eternal Conflict, that's the full name for EC in case uh, some of you guys don't know. We'll be starting off uh, as CTs. So let me just make sure I turn the auto director on so we can have a good look at it. What the current setup is for the sites, uh, it looks like this DC side will be looking and going, doing a B push. ENTC going down lowers, trying to see if he can get a pick. Delinquent going back to T spawn, maybe going down the A side to have a look there and see what he can pick off. Sarge obviously trying to defend the B side with force. Ready to nade in. He's there with Lost Wolf, obviously just playing around, trying to see if they can get that pick. Custom looking through the window side on mid. Quite a slow start for a pistol run from the DC side, but it looks like they've taken the mid area. Zero obviously trying to pick them off. They look, yeah, they're going to be moving into B. Great kick. A shot there from Custom. He takes the double. TC returns the favor. Link returns the favor. Now it's three on three interesting predicament that the CDs are in here. Uh, I'm not too sure. They, they've got two decoys, a flash and a heavy chi. There goes the flash. The Link will not flash. He takes the pick of Trauma. Grim's coming in trying to take out TC, but Link takes him from the side. Zio is still working out of his doors. He gets a pick, but unfortunately Kietanaded. Score now 1-0 to this DC side. I think it's quite a good start, and um, yeah, interesting to see how how this DC team has uh, put their first round strat together. Now obviously, they've got some decent subs playing for them. Um, subs like TC and Delinquent, which are fantastic players in, in the CSGO community. TC now trying to see if he can get a pick mid. Nothing there. Trauma almost getting a pick on Delinquent there. He's supported by Zio and A this round. He's backing down. Link gets the pick on Zio. He's going to be moving forward into that long side. Lost Wolf collecting his frag on Trauma. Quite a strong hold now for DC on the A site. Moving forward now. Smoking up the area. Sitting on Goose Ramp. Custom is coming in. Force coming from behind. Tries to pick off Grims. Does so. Proline, uh, Mr. TC Proline, sorry, takes off custom and forced them getting the double there on Sarge. Score now 2-0 to the DC side. I think this is a team to be looked looked at specifically. Uh, new side that's starting. Um, they've obviously played together under the Nav Knights uh, in the last um, in the last uh, season. So they've got some practice together, you know, as a team and. Um, 
going to be interesting to see what the full lineup is for the season to come. Uh, the Sunday Cup is obviously starting uh, this Sunday um, at 3 o'clock if you guys are interested to tune in to our Twitch channels and watch. We will be casting most of the games. Back to the game now. It looks like Custom might actually get a pick here on Delinquent. Delinquent just taking his time. Sarge trying to pick off one of the T's and B side. Trauma getting linked quite easily there. Link not going the right direction. Zio also getting a pick there. Delinquent getting the double. TC getting Grems there. We're looking at, uh, well, 2v5. Well, it's a one on one now. Sorry, uh, sorry, two v one. It's a one on one now, or two on one. My apologies. Thought delinquent was dead there for a second. <laughs> so it's trying to get the pick, but he gets picked off by TC. This is obviously causing a bit of issues now for the other side, um, the the EC side. And now it's obviously the buy round, so it's going to be very crucial for them to actually take this round. If um, DC does take this round, um, it's going to force them to save again, which is not exactly the best thing to do on the fourth round. You kind of want to take that fourth round before. Fantastic pick by Trauma on Link there. Force trying to return the favor, but unfortunately doesn't connect. It looks like they are still going to be pushing long. There are three CTs. Fantastic pick by Lost Wolf on Grems. Trauma with a double on Lost Wolf. Fantastic picking there. Force now sitting with one of his mates in the long area. But they're a little bit hesitant on going forward because, well, obviously there's open. There's two other CTs waiting for them. TC is carefully going on the top. Yeah, he's going up top. But it looks like the, the other T side is moving back. They might be pushing a mid to B now since they've pushed the rotate. We, well, I'm not too sure exactly what their plan is. But uh, Sarge is sitting in B, so it's going to be difficult for them to push through. And obviously, if they do call the mid, you know, uh, Sarge is going to be ready for them. At this moment in time, it's quite a quiet game. Yeah, it looks like they've pushed through now. T's going for the B breach. Custom supporting Sarge. He gets a pick, but gets picked off by Delinquent. So does Sarge by, by TC. We've got a two on two yet. Oh, okay, a one on two. Trauma gets the fantastic pick on TC in midair. Is Delinquent going to be able to take off one? Yes, he gets Zio. Trauma on very low health here. The bomb is ticking away. He might get the pick. Yes, he does. Making it four. Now, this is forcing the EC team to go into a bit of a savior. As you can see, they've bought up. Um, their economy is not doing <laughs> well, looking good at all. Let's have a quick look at the, the strat that these, uh, the DC side might pull off. Lost Wolf sitting in T-spawn on his own. It looks like he's gone AFK, but four of them have pushed through to the B area. It's going to be interesting to see if it's going to be a straight hard push. Custom and Sarge is waiting for them. Oh, fantastic pick by Custom on Sarge. Fantastic the eagle shots. He gets a pick on Force. Obviously exchanged three on three at the moment. Well, now on two on three, Grems and Trauma. Grems gets picked off and it's Trauma now. The T's have secured the B site. They know where Trauma is sitting. They're going to try and pick him off, which they do. Delinquent with a fantastic pick. They score now 5-0 in favor of uh, this DC team. Um, yeah, I mean, this, this, this DC side really, you know, they knew. Um, they have been playing together, but obviously now under the DC tag. I'm very, I'm going to be very interested to see, you know, like who's going to be their fourth and fifth, you know, in the upcoming events. Going back to the game again, uh, looks like it's another B push from the DC side. Force and Link there, obviously waiting to breach or try and get a pick before they even think of breaching. TC going downstairs to try and see if anyone push from top or mid. Nothing at this moment in time. Trauma still waiting at A side, not seeing anything there at the moment. Oh, it's interesting, Custom still looking at the mid. Grems, very defensive layout now from the EC side. It looks like they're going to be doing a mid to B push. They're pushing through now. Custom takes a pick. Force gets charge. So it leaves them open with only one guy in B. Grem's getting another pick. Custom fantastically going for the trip. He gets the trip. Lost Wolf 
picks him off. And, well, EC has taken a round back now. Score 5-1. Still in favor of DC. Very strong start as T's, but um, I think now this is the momentum that EC required. Um, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, who's going to get the pick um, at mid, if there's going to be an AWP mid. Doesn't look like it. There is an AWP. Trauma will be trying. Or no, he's going straight long, so... Not playing the mid as most teams would, or most of the professional teams would. I think they just... Oh, Sarge getting the hit there on Lost Wolf, leaving him on very low health. Only in 26 left. He's defending B quite uh, quite well. However, last, the last round, you know, they got picked off pretty quick and the T secured the B site. Link looking at going for a pick. He fails to get it. He gets picked off by Zio now. The T's are still all in the A area. Custom oh, Zio with a fantastic pick. Grim's getting the pick on, I mean, the nade on force. Trauma getting a hit there with the nade, but not with the orb. Looks like the T's are moving back a bit. Grim's getting TC there. And getting delinquent for the double. Score now 2 5, still in favor of DC. Looking at the game and how it's going now at the moment, I, I've got a very good feeling that um, this EC team is going to pull it back. However, there are some very class players on this new DC side and they do know how to play with each other as well. So, this can go either way. This is actually a very close ma match with some, some high profile teams here. Zio and Trauma moving forward. Looks like it's an A side. Zio getting the double. Does he go in to try and get the trip? No, uh, he might. Link is still bobbing around maybe trying to push and he does get the trip he gets the quadruple and custom gets the last fantastic playing there from Zio he's one of the best players with the p250r8 I mean him and custom are just magical with that gun they really just know how to get the headshots and and land the shots very well Going into the ninth round now, score 5-3, still in favor of DC. They need to start looking at taking an extra round or two just to keep that momentum going. But an EC, really powerful play from them. Custom getting a pick and then Lost Wolf, Custom getting the double. Grim's now into support. He flashes into the site. They return the nades. Grim's getting a pick on there. Custom getting the trip. Does he go for the quad? He does with some fantastic P250 aiming. I mean, that's exactly what I said in the previous round. You know, him and Zio are just amazing. They really know how to play their guns well. Score now 4-5. Still in favor of DC, but it looks like EC are slowly but surely crawling up towards, um, you know, that, that, that draw uh, of rounds. It's going to be interesting to see what the EC team's doing now. It looks like they're going to be doing a top reach, but Custom getting the pick from mid. It's a full-on save rush from the T side. They're definitely going to try and breach that A. But they are struggling. Zio coming quickly from behind. He takes the pick on TC. He gets the double on Link. But Lost Wolf taking him out there with the Glock. Delinquent not landing the pick on the mid player. Lost Wolf has uh, managed to pick himself up an M4, so this could give them a little bit more advantage. Custom, obviously, I'm not sure what he's doing. I think his uh, machines may be bugging out with some FPS. Delinquent taking him out there. Delinquent trying to go for the double. Now, we've got a 3 on 2. Both T's have got weapons, so they can get the picks. And then, obviously, we've got one all Patrolma. We've got Grims and Sarge. Sarge is keeping his B site. He's not moving from it. But it looks like the T's are moving into A. They get the pick on Grems. Then they get the pick on EC. This has turned in to a round for the DC side. They get the bomb plant, which will give them extra eco now. Let's see what Sarge can do. He gets the pick. Lost Wolf left. Sarge left. He's sitting in the gay corner area waiting for a pick, maybe. Oh, he gets a fantastic pick on Lost Wolf, turns the tide, and takes the fifth round for EC. Scores a tide now, 5-all. 
going into the 11th round, I think this is, as you can see, you know, they've, they've run won five rounds in a row now. Now it's a case as well where DC is going to get some cash because of that fifth round loss. So they might be able to, you know, they're sitting with quite a lot of cash. In the bomb plant and the fifth round, fifth round loss. Um, now they're able to buy up, you know, now they've got the orbs to be able to counter. EC sitting with a fantastic uh, economy, you know, making it quite difficult for the T's to play the strats and get the picks. As every single side has a gun, or every single player. They've smoked up A long, it looks like they're pushing through. Four guys going through, Force looking at the mid area just to see if there's any rotators coming through. Obviously placing their grenades, smoking up that A. Playing in the ditch area, they obviously want to try and get the pick first before pushing in. It's all dependent. Trauma just carefully waiting. Oh, he picks up the link wins, but then the favors return from link. So now we've got a 4-on-4 four four here. The smoke unfortunately is cleared up, but TC has taken the pick. Sarge is coming from behind. He's rotated quite quickly from the B side. If he does go around that corner, he can pick them off quite easily. He's unfortunately not able to pick them off. The T's are sitting on Gooseram. It just seems like they're not knowing what to do. Or well, they're trying to get the picks. There, Grim's getting the double now. Sarge sitting in ditch. He gets he gets one. He gets two. And, well, you know, that was a bit of a waste, to be honest. I mean, in, in, a, in a case like that, they should have gone straight for the bomb plant. Tried to defend the site as best as possible. Used the smokes to their advantage. And not, uh, you know, sacrifice so many players on the end of the day. Because now they've they've left time for the CT to rotate. The CT's rotated and they took the side quite comfortably. Score now 6-5 in favor of EC. They have taken the lead now in the first half. Fantastic CT defending from them. Flash in from Sarge on Force. Force turning away in time not to be blinded. Just playing the mid side now. TC obviously trying to get that pick on custom. Custom patiently waiting now behind boxes. Sergeant Force obviously taking taking it at each other. No picks there. Grims getting picked off by delinquent. Some fantastic aiming there. We've got custom again. He gets picked up by Lost Wolf. We've got a 4 on 3 now. Sarge taking it, equaling up the round. Does he get the second pick? No, he doesn't. Lost Wolf with some fantastic aiming. Now we've got a 3 on 1. But we've got a clutch player on the CT side. This is going to create something different for them. If Zio comes to the party, yes, he does. He takes out TC first. Delinquent rotating from low. His bomb's been planted from Lost Wolf. Here's some... I don't know what uh, Zio is going to do with the situation. Lost Wolf is quite low. Um, delinquent obviously with full health sitting in the tunnel area. Maybe just getting that last pick is required from him. But, but Lost Wolf does the business. Equaling the scores now. It's 6-all. It's taken them a bit of time, you know, to come back in this. Um, which now they have. So now the scores are 6-all. We've got three rounds left in this map. Well, sorry, in this round. Uh, or half. Um... I wonder if uh, Eternal Conflict is going to be able to take maybe the another next two or three rounds, or will DC? I mean, it all depends. Looks like we've got uh, Delinquent AFK from T side, which is not going to work in their favor, to be very honest. He's gone now. He's able now to join the game again. I think the T's are taking it a little bit slower this time. Link obviously trying to see if he can get his pick A long. Oh, he misses the shot. T's are going to start working towards A side again. We've got Zio on the left there. Oh, he does some fantastic spamming and he gets it through. Sarge, can he get the pick? No, he doesn't. He gets picked off by fours. TC getting the pick now on top. Oh, fantastic aiming there from TC. Trauma left. And custom left. Force getting the pick, unfortunately, on his teammate there. So now we've got a 2 on 1. TC just trying to defend the bomb whilst they plant it. He's left uh, custom quite low here. So 
It is a little bit on the T side favor here. I mean, if the T side just regain this momentum a little bit, then it's going to be fantastic for them. You know, they're going to be able to, uh, which they do now. They've taken the lead again. DC now 7 6. Um, they've taken the lead now. Can they work this last few rounds with the momentum they've got? You know, that's the question. Obviously, it's going to be a semi buy round now for the, for the EC side. It looks like their economy's really gone down the dumps. Whilst uh, DC are looking at um, buying up full, which they do. They got one AWP and four AKs. All getting armor. Surprisingly, Lost Wolf not buying a single nade. Um, not too sure exactly what he's what he's eco on. He's got enough money to buy nades, but he doesn't uh, seem to use them. Interesting to see. Looks like the T's are taking it slow. We've got two T's in top, two T's in long. Sitting outside those doors. Grim's obviously having a peak top now. He gets the pick on TC. Ah, oh, delinquent returning with the double. Only for Zio to pick him off. Now equalizing the amount of members per team now. Custom now getting the pick. Zio getting another pick. He gets the double. Score is now tied at 7 all. You see in a case like that, the EC team, I mean, that obviously shows a lot of experience. You know, being able to just buy two guns and the rest of the team pistols and go into that round and actually take it quite comfortably is um, interesting to see. You know, it shows a lot of experience. So the EC, I mean, the DC side maybe should have actually played a little bit more of a rush game because they knew they had the weapons, but I don't know. Maybe they didn't know that the uh, EC side was saving. So it's all dependent. Looking at the current setup now, we've got uh, four going B side, delinquent sitting in long to try and get a pick. Custom and Sarge are sitting in the B area waiting for that golden pick. Fantastic aiming from Grems on delinquent there. Getting that crucial pick now. He hasn't called it and his team is still sitting in the area. Trauma takes off T, well takes out TC with a fantastic orb shot there. Looks like another one lost wolf is kind of come lower. Oh, Sarge with a fantastic AK shot there. On force. Sarge obviously supporting now. Can't see if he can get a pick. There are three CTs sitting in the mid area. They're just taking their time now, the CTs. I mean, now it's a 4v2. It should be quite easily, you know, in the CTs' favor here. Yeah? are trying to push out the mid side which they do or do they fake it yes it looks like they are pulling a fake move and going the top side here yeah. link pushing in he gets picked off lost wolf joining him now can he get the pick no he doesn't zero gets the double score now eight seven at half time um yeah sure that's some fantastic play from both sides to be honest i mean both teams really showed you know how they can play delinquent and tc obviously topping the scores there you know showing how much of quality players they are um, score now 8-7 in favor of EC. It's going to be interesting to see how they play their T rounds now and how their T strats are going to be used. It looks like there is a lot of a lot of an A push here. Sarge going straight down mid. Custom joining him. Grems, we are joining him. Zio joining him. It looks like it's a mid. Trauma sitting in the long area waiting patiently whilst the rest of the team pushes top quite hard. Oh, fantastic flank from e from TC there. He gets the double. Definitely forcing them. Oh, Link there with a fantastic Eddie. Oh, and Lost Wolf getting the double there. Right in the end with two very low health opponents. Score 8-0. It's what the DC side needed. They really needed that money just to basically get them through the next two rounds. Buy economically and then, ta you know, use that momentum for to actually win this round or win this map. Um... It's going to be interesting to see, you know, how they play it out, how their defense works and so forth. Looks like it's a fee full B push. we got two guys going top, Sergeant Zio. Zio getting picked up from Delinquent, or by Delinquent. Custom joining now from the lowest to mid. He tries to play out a CT there, but fails to do so. Trauma and Grimms just taking their time in mid. Zio with some fantastic Bison playing here. And then finishes off Zio with the Heady. It looks like the T's have joined the B. 
side. They've managed to get in. Do they get the plant? They need the plant. They get the plant, and I think that's all they needed. It was really crucial for them to get that plant just to up their income a bit. It's going to be interesting to see what the buy is going to be from this team, this EC side. It seems like, you know, the one player there, uh, Zio, you know, he's obviously on top of the score, but, you know, he's not buying with his team. So now the rest of the team buys up, and he kind of uh, plays his two P250 most likely, which is fine because, you know what, he is a fantastic P250 player. He can get the picks, and that's all that counts, you know, on the end of the day. Lost Wolf checking the mid side, mid doors. He's gonna look for the push. He fails to get the pick on Zio. Looks like the CT's trying to defend that A a little bit more, but La Force is sitting in the ditch side. And now he gives his position away. Grim's picking him off quite quickly there. Lost Wolf on the right hand side. He gets picked off by Grim's. Grim's getting the double. He's obviously trying to get now that pick on the person top who has flashed the boost ramp. Link coming in now. He gets the pick on Grems. Fantastic playing by Link there. TC sitting with the buys on. Obviously knowing that uh, there are still some T's in the long area waiting just to pick him off. It is a 2 on 3 at the moment. Delinquent very quiet to be honest. Oh, Custom getting the pick on uh, on TC. Now it's a 2 on 2. Zio sitting with the AWP now. Delinquent sitting top, waiting for that bomb plant or waiting to push. But it looks like they are moving slowly back. Zio watching the long side. I think he knows someone will be coming long to come and hunt him down. Which is Link. Oh, he misses the pick on Link. And the pick he misses again. Link getting the shot on long. Custom returning the favor now. It's a one on one here. Bomb is down. Time is ticking for Link here. He tries to make the jump. He doesn't get the pick. And Custom picks him off. Well, ECF uh, pulled that round back. Quite an interesting, uh, you know, uh, third round there. They got the pick. Where they, where, well, they got the picks where it was needed. And, you know, winning one out of the three rounds is something, you know, at least. You know, returning the favor quite early in this this p part of the game causes a little bit of havoc. Because now you're seeing that the economy of the CTs aren't that great. We've got Force sitting with uh, no gun. And, um, well, I guess uh, Sarge only playing with his Deagle. But they've got four AKs. You know, the AKs are more powerful than the Clarions and the M4s. Giving them the slight bit of advantage. But it all depends, you know, on the day. Who can aim the best? Who can take the picks the best? Custom picking off the link one there. Link defending B quite well. He takes down Zio. He's got two more enemies coming his way. Will he be able to pick him off? Lost Wolf. Oh, he gets picked off by, by Sarge. Unfortunately, not being able to keep it there. Trauma getting the pick on force now. We got 1v4. It's only TC left. He returns the favor by getting the pick, but Custom picks him off. Score now 10-9 in favor of Eternal Conflict. You know, just uh, if you've just tuned in, this is uh, the ex-SSG um, Dream Team that came fourth at Rage. Um, they played fantastic there. You know, they played very well as a unit, and uh, they showed quite a lot of character. Um, well, they showed quite a lot of character in that competition by beating their brother team as well. Hard push here from the CTs. They get two picks. Fantastic picking from Delinquent there, but unfortunately only being able to get two. Graham's picking him off now, but we've got a three-on-one, which is Link now sitting with an AK at least. He gets a pick. Pushing himself a little bit forward. And then retreating back into the long area. Now the bomb has been planted, I believe, in the B area by Grems and Custom. I mean, sorry, by Grems and Sarge. Link now, we're not too sure exactly what he's going to do. It looks like he, he's going to go and try and attempt to take on the site. He's got an HE with him. But I don't think it's enough to breach a site like this. You do require a couple of flashies and so forth. Looks like he's just going to go for the save. 
Let's look at the economy currently at the moment for the CTs. Not doing so well. Link having enough to buy for his team. Um, I'm not too sure about the other members now. Having a look quickly at the eco. They've got enough to buy, which, you know, I guess uh, in this case was a good call from Link. Enabling him to buy additional uh, nades and so forth, which he's, buy he's bought pretty much the full spectrum of nades, except for the, the decoy. He gets hit quite hard from the mid side. Smokes up the B area now. But it looks like... Grims, Zio and Sarge working that mid, trying to get the fix. Frantic aiming there. Grims getting the pick on Lost Wolf there. It looks like they are slowly but surely moving towards the B side of things. Trauma obviously trying to get that pick. He fails to do so and Link picks him off for the fantastic... Some fantastic aiming. TC returning the favor right in mid, taking down two. We've got two CTs, uh, sorry, two Ts left versus four CTs. Uh, yeah, the CTs are actually doing very well this uh, this round. It's turning into quite a close game here. Zio taking down Delinquent now. we got a two on five. Grems taking down TC. Link then obviously taking them down. Two orpers left, forced with some fantastic orping. Keeping DC within reach of that 11 at the moment. Score now 11-10 in favor of uh, EC. I wonder, if, you know, looking at this game at the moment, um, it's very difficult to say, like, who's going to actually take it because, yeah, um, it's even Stevens right now. Not exactly on the score side. EC does have one in, in, in their favor, but, you know, anything can happen. Now, like the CTs were defending the last round, they can definitely take... The last couple of rounds. Only six rounds required for them. And then 5-4 EC. Sarge getting the pick on Delinquent on top. TC is there to support him. Nothing really much happening now on the A side. It looks like they are just trying to control this mid. Playing a very controlling type of game. Waiting for the pushes and then picking them off and then breaching. You know, this is something that a lot of good teams do. You know, they don't just go for the straight rush. Grems with a fantastic orb shot there. Lost Wolf trying to get a pick. He gets one. He gets assist. Well, he gets assistance by force. He gets the double. Sarge picking off force now. Lost Wolf left in the sight here. Sorry, not on the side, it's the slowest, but Sarge picking him off quite comfortably. It's one on one now, Sarge versus Link. This is another duel between these two. I believe, yes. Sarge winning the last duel. He tries to nade Link. Link tries to get the pick, but doesn't seem to find him. He gets him this time, evens up the score, 11 all, sure. You know, um... It's interesting to see how, you know, how EC played, well, the XSSG team played on, how they played on, on, on Dust2 against DC White in, in one of the uh, DGC games. I mean, they rocked DZ, D, uh, DC White there. This DC team, however, is giving them a little bit more flag, to be honest. Obviously, they got the two subs with them, but I don't think it makes a big difference. Full on rush by the T side here. Saul getting the trip. I think he's done his job definitely for a B-side defense. Lost Wolf trying to get a pick or two, but it looks like the two T's are in the sight. They're making themselves look comfortable. TC now coming from behind. He picks off custom. Zia picks him off then. Oh, he gets the double. He gets the triple. Oh, unfortunately, he doesn't finish it off. DC going back into the lead now. Score 12-11. Well, this game definitely turning into something interesting. Uh, I'm, yeah. You know, uh, my money was definitely on EC for this one, but it looks like this new DC team is really showing some, uh, some stick here. They probably could take this map. Um, this is a best out of three as far as I'm aware. Uh, just an, uh, a friendly game here before the big games um, this weekend Sunday at the Sunday Cup looks like the T's are moving forward into the area but they've got three CT's in A 
Ooh, very sneaky turn. A jump from Zio. He gets the pick on Delinquent unexpectedly. Lost Wolf and TC getting some picks there. Trauma is returning the favor. TC still sitting in that top, menacing it out. At the moment, it is Trauma and Zio. They're trying to obviously just get the bomb down. As they managed to do. Zio gets picked off by Link. It's Trauma left. Can he make a difference here? He's got two guys to take on. But he gets picked off by TC. Unfortunately, not buying enough time for the T's to actually win that round through a bomb explosion. Score now 13-11 in favor of DC. As we go into the 25th round now of this quite close encounter between DC3, the third DC team, and obviously two subs, and the, the full EC side, you know, things are looking quite interesting. Torman are trying to get the pick on long. Fails to do so. Sarge sitting in the top area now with custom. They're waiting for a CD to push here, but I don't think it's going to happen because, you know, looking obviously at the X-ray, they're quite far away. Lost Wolf spamming from mid, trying to get a pick on. I think he's definitely called them out. We're having a quick look here. Yeah, the CTs are ready to box them in. Delinquent taking a pick on Trauma. Nade goes in. Lost Wolf with some fantastic aiming there. He supports Delinquent. And TC hitting the final blow 14 11 against EC here. Wow. You know, now in a case like this, you're 14 rounds up, you three rounds against your you three rounds up against your, your opponent. You need to keep the composure. This is something that a lot of teams fail to do and they fail hard at it. If they can go the next two rounds to easily take it, they've got the finances to do it. So does EC now. They had to do a full buy to save it. Oh, fantastic playing here from EC. They've taken three picks for the exchange of one. Make it four picks for the exchange of one. Delinquent is the only one left. I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do here. But he gets picked off by Grims. Now score 14-12. Now you see, this is where the dangerous part comes. If the team is not going to keep their composure, they can lose this. I mean, their finances are dwindling, dwindling somewhat. Only TC's the guy with some cash in the bank here, but he's buying now, so yeah, it's going to be tricky. That was a very valuable round there for EC, only losing one member out of the total. Sarge getting the pick on delinquent top. It looks like EC are coming back quite strong here. But they've got a B here. Does the B guy rotate? It looks like it. He is moving in that direction already. TC getting the pick. Fantastic decoy playing here from Sarge. Link is moving back now into sight. But unfortunately it's too late. He's called the B but they've blocked it off. And EC have taken sight quite comfortably now. Link almost getting the pick there. Sarge sitting in mid now. He gets the one pick off. Now it's a three on three here. CTs have huddled themselves. One pick. Oh, Zio getting the double. Does he go for the trip? Or does Custom get him? Custom gets him there because Lost Wolf returning the favor on Zio. And EC are looking quite strong now. Now you're looking at it now quickly. Let's look at the scores here. TC and Delinquent still doing fantastic. Same with Link. But the problem is, if you look at it, if you look at it, their finances are not assisting them yet. This is putting them right back in the backseat, basically, and putting EC now in the driver's seat. They get the pick on TC Long. An important player gone down. Sarge getting the pick on Delinquent. Looks like they've done a full rotator. Yeah, there's definitely going to be an A boot side. Force getting picked off quite easily by, Sh uh, by Sarge there. He didn't have a gun to, you know, take him on. He had a pistol, but USPs are not very effective. I think a P250 might have been more. So you're getting the pick on Lost Wolf mid. Last guy remaining here is Mr. Link. He's just waiting for a pick to try and get himself a gun to maybe put 
Oh, but he's just missed the guy top. Wow. And he gets picked off by custom there. Scores now an equal. It's even. You see, that's where the composure all... It matters. Right on the end. You've got that 14 rounds. You think you got it. And look what EC will do. They will take those rounds from you. And they will win this map. So it looks like the CTs have managed to buy up. It looks like they had to do two save rounds there. Just to get them back in this game. But it might be a little too late now. As the T's have got... Quite a bit of a financial gain on them. Graham's getting the pick on Delinquent top. Zio also getting force. Ross will try to get someone, but Sarge taking the pick. And we've got a five on one here. Terrorist Unfortunately, it's a little too late, you know. They just couldn't actually take it. I mean, you know... It's where the pressure comes in. When that pressure builds, you got that 14th round. Now they are unfortunately suffering, having to buy max 7s to try and see if they can actually hold it. Oh, Sarge getting picked. Sarge picking lost wolf all there. Zero getting the pick. Sarge getting another pick there. Force waiting in lower to try and see if he can get a gun, but Sarge almost being picked up by TC, so we don't know. Custom and Sarge waiting down in the lower area. They've taken down Force, they win the round, 16-14. Fantastic game. I think this was really a good game to watch, you know. Quite close. Definitely something we didn't expect. Um... We're going to be waiting now for the next round. Um, yeah, I'll just have to get confirmation on what the next map is going to be. I will be with you guys in a flash.
How's it, guys? Um, yeah, I'm about to switch us over now to the second game or the se second map now. They've just changed servers to DGL1. Um, basically, it hasn't gone live as of yet, but um, it looks like we are ready to go. Just waiting confirmation quickly. Okay, well it looks like uh, the next map will be DE Mirage. I'm just uh, busy loading in quickly, so then uh, obviously they're going to do the restart and then we'll be live. Um, just give it a nice, I would probably say another two more minutes or so. For now I'll just uh, jam some music.
looks like uh, we're ready to go live now uh, guys so uh, looking at the setup now um, the DC side is obviously taking CT on Mirage and then EC going for T's as first delinquent taking the first pick on Sarge a lost wolf trying to support from catwalk he's pushing through but it looks like it's an a breach from the EC team fantastic playing from guard there who has decided to join the party one of their fellow uh, DC players, Custom getting the pick now, but unfortunately can't do much as, D as Lost Wolf takes him off. 1-0 now to DC. Interesting game. I don't know. The last the last map was fantastic. I mean, it was, what, 16-14, so it was very close. You know, DC right there on the end, having that advantage, having the ability to take that game, unfortunately just letting it slip. And, you know, that's the difference between... A newly formed team and a team that's been playing together for quite some time like EC. You know, EC had the composure there, they took their time, they took the rounds back and then ended up winning that, that map. Fantastic, I still do personally think it's a fantastic... Um, a, fin a fantastic uh, result for DC at the time. But uh, let's get right back to the game. Lost Wolf taking two picks there with Link in support. Looks like... Uh, the DC team might actually get their second. And then coming through, getting the double. Actually, the triple. Score now 2-0 in favor of DC. You see, the, the other thing with regards to um, Mirage, it's a very mid-orientated map. You want your team to, from, specifically on the T side of things, you want to control that mid and then make the decision from there. What EC are currently doing at the moment, it looks like they're doing a 3-2 three, three, split. Basically, 2 splitting onto A and 3 going lowers. Yep. Delinquent pushing quite forward there. He's obviously called team now, but it looks like the EC team has taken him down. He pushed quite hard there to try and see if he'd get that mid pick, but unfortunately no one showed their faces at mid. Force returning the favor. Custom then taking out Force. So far, it's a four on three. Uh, a three on three. God then stepping in there, getting the picks. Lost Wolf getting a pick on Sarge. Link getting one on Trauma. And it looks like this third round is going to be... Ooh, fantastic shooting from Custom there. Reflex shot. But unfortunately, couldn't take out the rest. Now, 3-0 up for DC. Um, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how this uh, this turns out here, yeah, this game turns out specifically. I mean, you know, EC being an experienced team, playing together for years, you know, are they going to be able to take it? But fantastic, fantastic defense in the first three rounds from the DC side. Oh, custom with a fantastic pick on guard there. He gets the double pick on force. Lost Wolf getting a pick in mid. He gets the trip on Delinquent. Does he take out Lost Wolf in cat? He misses the shot, but Grim supports him there. Link, the only one, well, one of the only ones to actually take a pick there. Fantastic nading from him on Zio, putting him down to 60 out. Flashes him in. Ooh, Zio just missing his head there with the P250. Link's turning his back towards Zio. Didn't think Zio would push it because of the smoke. But Zio quite uh, tenacious, coming right through, taking the pick. Score now 3-1 in favor of DC. EC doing fantastic there, getting that fourth round, avoiding the fact that they had to save. Their buy round definitely aided them. So now they are able to go through and actually play the fifth round with no problems and with guns. You know, kind of forcing the CTs to actually do a full buy, almost a full buy. Force getting the pick there with Lost Wolf. Sergeant Customer down now. Oh god, almost getting the pick on Zio. 10 HP left. Force missing in there, but gets the pick now. So now we've got a two on five. Well, you know, very well played from the 
from the DC side. It looks like they won't lose a single member in that round. And that is very crucial for them. Helping them with their economy specifically now. EC unfortunately forced to save again. Going for a full save push possibly on A side. As you can see the players are looking in that direction. Definitely looks like a full A push. We're going to have one guy bolt, two guy bolt, two guy ramp, one guy mid. Interesting position. Kind of like a, a chipway split push. I don't think it's very effective to be honest. They might not be pushing though. They might just be taking them... So Force getting the pick there on Grims. God coming in quite close on Custom. If Custom spots him first. Oh, God takes a Custom. But Zio then taking him out there. Force with the double. Lost Wolf assisting from the mid side. Taking out Sarge. We got one guy in the A side from the T. Zio. He's got a gun. But he is opting for the P250, which worked. You know, he got the pick on Force. But what happened if he actually took the M4 there? You know, do you think he might have actually taken two or three? Don't know. Auto sniper being bought by Link there. I wonder who's going to be picking that one up. It looks like it's gone to guard now. Now, the auto snipers definitely come into effect in a lot of games now, often. Um, it is a very powerful gun. Oh, fantastic picking from Delinquent there on mid. Custom going down. The T's have bought this round. They really need to get a couple of rounds in their favor. They need to start building that bit of momentum. Oh, Sarge taking out Lost Wolf. Lost Wolf not spotting Sarge there quick enough. Unfortunately, slightly slow reflexes got the better of him. Forced to trying to get a pick. He gets the pick on Sarge from mid. The T's are trying to breach the B area. They've got Lincoln Delinquent waiting for them. Link with fantastic Eddie there. Does he get the double? Yes, he does. 6 1 in favor of DC. A fantastic defense. I think it's very crucial that they do defend well as CTs, basically. Um, you know, three of the members obviously force Lost Wolf and Link, you know, uh, back in the Knights when they were playing for the Knights. They had a very strong T uh, in Mirage as well. So if they do bring that strong T forward and play this game the way they did. Can be quite a bit of a problem for EC here, losing. God taking the first pick on Trauma. Fantastic shot there from Delinquent. Unfortunately going down to Grems. God getting his second. Oh, Sarge with a fantastic eagle. But he gets picked off by Link. Score now 7-1 in favor of DC. They look, it looks like they're starting to run away with this game, but we'll have to see. You see, it looks like the T side are spreading out a little bit. Trauma going lowers, and we got Sergeant Grems in mid. With zero in custom on the A side, trying to get a pick. Force waiting patiently there for someone to peek. He gets the shot on Grems, which assists them. Quite a lot. Now we got two, three AWPers on the T side here. One auto sniper and one AWPer on CT. If they defend well, you know, on the end of the day, it's not going to matter. Oh, Lost Wolf getting a fantastic pick on Trauma there. Zio now finally getting a pick for the T side on guard. He gets the double on force. Oh, Lost Wolf unfortunately not picking him up in time. Sarge coming in now from the side. He gets a double as well now. Now this game is swayed in the favor of the T's. You know, a couple of picks later and things are looking different. Link now obviously trying to defend. Custom not getting the pick on him. Again, he doesn't get the pick. Link now finally getting the Deagle shot in on Custom. It's still a 2v1. Now we've got... Oh, he gets the shot here. Does he do a bit of a clutch? Missed shot there from Sarge. Oh, Link gets the clutch on. He goes to the defuse. And well, the CT still retain the advantage. A fantastic playing from, from Link. I mean, I, well, 
They're getting the shot on, on, on Zio first, then going for the second one, and then getting the third on Sarge. I mean, fantastic playing. You know, that's a round that was definitely in favor of, of the tees, and they kind of just lost it, you know? Looking at the setup now, there's still a bit of a buy from the T side. They got the bomb down, so they still got finances to buy. Not all of them having... Well, looking at the Orpus, the Orpus not buying armor. That could not work in their favor. Link getting the pick there. Trauma then returning a favor. Getting the 4v4 on the ball. Oh, Link with fantastic orb shot there on Grems. God supporting. He gets a pick. Delinquent gets a pick. We've only got custom left now to plant this bomb. It is crucial economy that the T's need. Now looking at the score, 9-1. I mean, fantastic defending from the CTs. I mean, you know, when you go and play against a team with a very high margin, looking at a 12-3 or a 14-1 or a 13-2, that, you know, psychologically breaks down a team. So now EC is going to be going into the next round with a very small amount of rounds to defend, making it extremely difficult for them. So it's it's brilliant work from DC. It's looking now, it looks like it's going to be a full A from the EC side. They are a little bit rattled up, but Sarge with a fantastic pick on Link. Lost Wolf trying to get him to exchange the kills. Unfortunately, there's a player that has dropped from the DC side. Ooh, that's causing a bit of issues. Delinquent there. Timed out. Hard getting a pick on the mid player. Bomb's been planted from the EC team. Force obviously trying to see if we can get a pick on one of the easy players here. The CT side from DC gets in, getting a kill off there. Do they get two? Oh, Grim's getting a pick on guard there. Trauma now. One on one with Lost Wolf. He gets the pick. EC have claimed a run back. Score 9 2 now after quite an exhilarating round there, you know. Like the CTs weren't breaching straight away. They were kind of trying to talk to each other and say, listen, yeah, let's do this. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's save. I don't know what was going down there in that conversation. But to be very honest, you know, they took a little too long to breach that site. The T's did get comfortable. They got the picks, however, but unfortunately it didn't help them. Fantastic play by Trauma on the end. Force now waiting for a pick on A. No, someone is there. He spots bulk now. We got Lost Wolf playing the mid side. We got two T two T's coming from lower. Crimson trauma. Oh, fantastic shot from Zio on force. He takes down the Orpa. That's quite uh, crucial. Lost Wolf getting a pick there. And we are on a three on three at the moment. But it looks like the ace A side is open for the T's to plant. But the bomb still unfortunately sitting in mid. Bomb dropped. Is it mid or is it A? I'm not too sure. Oh no, the bomb start dropped down lowers. My apologies. Lost Wolf getting another pick there. He gets the double. So now we've got a two on one. We've got Custom versus Link and Lost Wolf. Both the CTs are on quite low half. But Lost Wolf doesn't hesitate to take down Custom. Score now 10 2 in favor of DC. Uh, wow. <laughs> quite a bit of a change. See, now the CT team are able to buy up full with uh, M4s and so forth. The T side, you know, getting a little bit desperate now with two AKs and nothing more. Sarge going to try and get his pick mid. Oh, Force taking the pick on Krems. Sarge going down in mid as well. There's a couple of guys. Hey, God is waiting for them, but Delinquent is pushing through. He's playing quite aggressively, which is interesting to see. Lost Wolf, obviously, just looking at the lowest area because he knows Delinquent has popped through. Looks like this uh, CT side with the bomb is kind of creating a decoy. Delinquent waiting in mid for Zio, but he cannot face that P250. That P250 of Zio is dangerous. It's, it's amazing. Zio now picking up the M4. 
we got 3v4 here after losing delinquent the CT side are deciding to take it a bit more easier not to be more aggressive we got link orping bulk side but he's sitting down low he's not peeking he wants to wait to try and get a pick lost wolf is obviously called for the B push here because he could hear them link just patiently waiting for a head to pop so he can get the oh he fails to get the pick now he's moving back he doesn't get picked off luckily he gets the pick Formex changes it now with only one to beat and Lost Wolf playing a fantastic game here all of a sudden. Being able to pick off Trauma. Score 11-2 now. Now this is treading into the danger area for EC here. If they do not take the next two rounds, you know, things are going to be somewhat difficult for them. It's going to be quite a bit of a walk over for, well, for, this, for the DC team here. Looking at it now, it's a full safe from EC. It's a little too late. Guard taking a pick. Delinquent obviously supporting the A side now because they can hear that it might be a full A. Zio sitting there with his P250. Can do quite the damage with it. Delinquent getting the pick there. Guard getting the pick. Force getting the pick. Sarge the only one to beat. He doesn't get the pick on Delinquent. Bit of a mistake there. Lost Wolf coming in now, taking the pick himself. Score now 12 2 in favor of DC. Well, looking at this now at the moment, I mean, this is going to be somewhat difficult for them. You know, like, if, if, if DC takes the next round, they're not going to have much round to defend at all. But it's always good, you know, then we'll go into the third round. Obviously, you know, both teams want to play a third. The way they're playing at the moment, I mean, DC, I, w I would say EC has not been favourites on, on, on Mirage, but, you know, they have a strong Mirage. Force getting the pick on Grims there. So now we've got a 4v5. Custom tries to return the favour. Yes, he does. So we've got a 4-4. Four four. But Delinquent picks off Custom, and he picks off Zero. Fantastic playing from Delinquent there. Now we've got a 1-3. Going into the last half. Lost Wolf picking off Sarge there. Very difficult. 13-2. DC has taken this round. Fantastic playing. Really, really fantastic playing there. I mean, if you're looking at the scores now, Lost Wolf coming on top there. 70 for 7. Link potting in 16 for 6. And Force, well, he's playing in well. 14 for 6 as well. Funny enough that the other the other members not playing too great i mean probably lindsay might be uh well, sorry delinquent might be right on top but we don't know score now 13 13 2 going into the next half let's see what dc can do it looks like they are going to be pushing quite a mid forces decided to take the ball see now this is the way that you should play the t side really try and dominate that mid area and then call for the push delinquent getting picked off god returning the favor zero getting enough pick down on link, Rems then is a fantastic defending. Sarge so getting picked off. We got a 3v2 now. Lost Wolf, unfortunately, not finding his target. He gets picked off as well. We got guard left. Let's see how picks off guard. Now score 13 3. Thirteen three now going into the next round. Good defending from EC there, but I don't know if it's a little too late. It looks like it's gonna be a full B from EC side. Sarge getting quite the early pick there on the DC team. They rush down low. Does he get another? He does as well. He gets the trip! Fantastic aiming! Does he get the quad? He's pushing in hard, but unfortunately God picks him off. Fantastic bang from Sarge there. Grems assisting now, taking off Delinquent. Trauma picking off guard there the last round. Fantastic playing from the EC side. They are running this game back, making it difficult for the T's to actually get any sort of rounds. The problem that we're facing here at the moment is... That they still have to defend so many rounds. It's only three rounds for the terrorists. However, looking at the previous game, um, DC 
they didn't uh, they didn't have the composure basically to go through when they were 14 11 up so anything can be anything can happen now, really custom being flash there from link but he gets the double he gets the trip fantastic playing from custom sarge assisting there getting god in mid last player sitting in the b block area he gets naded no ct dies there now that is something that is going to help them now from for this buy round specifically and their finances are definitely going to help them Looking at this moment in time, you know, now obviously the T's have bought out. They've got two players that are stacking in this area here, and they've got two players trying to pick off at mid. They've got Sarge obviously walking down. They get the pick. Now they need to dominate this area and then decide where to go, if you know what I mean. Like, either left or right. But, um, yeah. It all depends on the captain how he calls. Zero returning the favor there, getting the link. I mean, getting the delinquent. Four side here. Teams are equal with health as well. Not much of a difference in the health. No one's really low in health. Zio getting fantastic pick there on course. He gets the pick on Lost Wolf as well. Trauma then assists by getting Link. This is a buy round for the T's. God managing to get Trauma there. Oh, but he gets picked off by Zio. Now it's forced this T side to go into the buy, I mean, to the save again. They don't have a full spectrum, well, a full amount of money. So the economy is quite weak at the moment. They cannot afford to buy, but Force has gone for the buy. I think he's gone for the P250 armor buy, by the looks of it. Yes, he has. It's going to... I need to link and Force going for P250 armor. In this case, you know, it's very difficult. Because every team, well, every member in that CT side has got a rifle. Zio getting one pick. Force managing to get Zio. Trauma can't pick him off. Delinquent coming in from the side, taking off Trauma. And changing a little bit here. Custom. A lot of exchanges happening here. We've got a two on two. A little bit more in favor for the CTs because they've got the weapons. But Force can make quite good with that. Oh, he almost gets the pick on, on custom or trauma there. I think trauma or custom. No, on, yeah, on custom. God's going to try and see if he can get a pick somehow. Now it's somewhat difficult for them because it's definitely in the CT's favor to defend this round. But fantastic playing from this from the T side, from, from DC there, going in, going into the left side from delinquent, you know, and then the right side from the other players. They're taking the picks, they're exchanging very well. Now in a T situation, that's a pure advantage. Unfortunately, Grim's taking off guard there, making the score 13-7. EC are catching up fast. They haven't lost a round now, if you look at it in five rounds, but it is it's it's easy now for the DC team to buy up because it is that fifth round loss uh, thing that happens basically where they get more income. I don't exactly know what the right terminology is, but anyway. So looking at it now, they've got money. Oh, trauma there with a blind pick on Link. Exchanges here from the DC team. They take down Zio, but Sarge gets down, gets lost wolf. DC are able to plant, but not having a lot of players left. We've got a 3v4 here in favor of T's. Oh, Custom taking down guard. Force exchanging, delinquent exchanging on Sarge. Now we have a 2 on 2. This is where it gets interesting. With the right team communication, delinquent can play very well. He gets the one pick. Does he get the other one? No, he doesn't. But he's definitely... Kept them busy. He's taken the pick. Fantastic playing. DC have taken a round now after their five round loss. Well, score 14 7 now. Now, is this enough momentum for DC to follow through and win this map? That's the question. No. So, looking at the current setup now, we've got Link going bulk, Guard going A bulk, Force playing mid, Lost Wolf. Obviously playing A ramp now. It looks like it might be an A breach depending on where they get the picks. But the bomb is sitting on the lower staircase area. Zio now obviously trying to get a quick pick on guard. 
Oh, trauma taking guard archer. Lost Wolf tries to come up and support, but he's under heavy fire in that situation there. Oh, Sarge gets the pick on Delinquent. That was kind of just taking it easy. Oh, Custom getting the pick on Force now. We've got a 2v5 here. It's going to be very difficult for the T's. I'm not too sure exactly what they're going to be doing. Oh, Lost Wolf getting the pick, but gets picked off by Custom. Only Link left here, but he gets picked off by Custom. And, well, EC are back in the game. They've taken it now, 14-8. Let's look at the finances quickly here. Very difficult for Team DC to actually maybe do a buy. Have they done a full buy? No, they've gone for the save. Delinquent obviously doing the armor purchase there. Some nades from Link and Lost Wolf. Not many. Obviously the great buy here from the EC side. Oh, fantastic pick by Trauma. He gets picked off by Force now. This could prove... If they get another pick the T side, it can roll in their favor. They get the plants. Picking another pick here. Oh, Zio coming in, getting the one pick. Ooh, running out of bullets there, not exactly. He gets he gets the double. And well, they quickly took care of the T side there. They managed to get the bomb down, but I don't know. Is it gonna help them now? Because they're stuck in that 14 round rut. They're not getting past it. If they don't get past it, that means they can't win the map. They need to get the composer together, the confidence together to take on the team um, EC and actually, you know, show that, you know, they are quite a top contender team here. I mean, EC coming forth at Rage, you know, showing quite a lot of uh, character there. Uh, if, if, if some of you guys don't know, obviously, um, this uh, team EC is the old SSG dream. But um, looking at it now, scores 14-9 in favor of DC. They just need to get over this little bump. And they then they can secure the map. EC down, however, coming with some fantastic defending. Some exchanges there in mid. Delinquent getting the pick on Sarge. Sarge getting the pick on Link. Oh, Trauma getting the pick on Guard. Things are... Zio getting Lost Wolf there with a fantastic shot. Trauma just waiting for that A breach. He gets the pick on Force. 1v4. Delinquent managing to exchange a kill there. I'm not sure if he's going to play the save right now. If this team is actually going to push. It all depends. It looks like this full CT team knows where he is. They're just waiting for him to breach slowly but surely. It's obviously because the bomb's right on the entrance of this A side. Second pick for Delinquent. He gets the double. But he gets picked off by Grimms now. Now double figures here for EC. This is where it starts to get a little stressful, you know. This is where it has to be done correctly by both teams. Whoever's the stronger team here will win. Regardless of the score. Let's look at the strat that DC are going to pull. Or is going to pull. Looks like they're going to be doing a full B breach. Straight full B breach. they on the save. Lost Wolf is the only one that's bought in that team. Maybe not a very good idea. Looking quickly at his finances there. Custom with the auto sniper. Grimm's coming in, taking the double. Hits the triple as well. 14-11. Slowly but surely, the EC team are creeping up here to DC. Can DC get their act together and take the last two rounds? I mean, I think there's a lot of people on this channel that's currently viewing it that would like DC to take it, but if they don't, you know, it's something they're going to have to go back on and work. Oh, sorry, it's something they're going to have to go back and work on. <laughs> Mixed up my words a bit there, but anyway. DC coming now in with a straight B, uh, sorry, sorry, straight A breach. They get the pick. Zio gets the double, though. So not fair exchanges. Sarge getting another... Delinquent trying to get that bomb down. I think it's a little bit. Sarge getting now his double as well. 
Ooh, Delinquent getting the nade on Zio there. Fantastic opening by Sarge through the box. Securing the run for them. Score now 14-2. Sure, to be quite frankly honest, I mean, I didn't expect um, that much of a... You know, that much of a rush from, from the DC side, being that they've all bought, you know, it's something that's crucial. Now they're sitting in this situation where you've got Lost Wolf that's bought the orb, Force buying an AK at least. You know, it's the bomb helped there, the quick plant. But I do believe going in with four or five AKs, you could have taken it a little bit slow just waiting for the picks. Oh, Sio getting the pick on guard there. Sarge getting the pick on Lost Wolf. DC are somewhat under fire. Sarge getting the double on force now. Sarge obviously jumping that window knowing someone might be low, but he doesn't know that. Well, here he gets the triple on Link. Quite an easy kill as Link doesn't look up. Well, we got Delinquent left that's sitting right back in the area. The B area, he's kind of just chilling there, just waiting for something to happen. Not too sure. Or is he going to go for the save? He's got a couple of guys that are behind him. But it looks like they've walked right past. Oh, wait. Zio's coming back here. Oh, no. It's going to be custom. It's going to engage him now. He's going to try and go for the pick on Zio. He doesn't get the pick. Now, Delinquent is taking his... Oh, unfortunately, if he stayed there, he would have had a rifle at least to contend with him. Now, the score, 14-13. Guys, if you've just tuned in, the score at halftime was... Sorry, 13-2 in favor for uh, DC. They had a lot of advantage here, a lot of uh, a psychological advantage as well. But it doesn't look like they're getting the T's right here, to be honest. They're not... They're not Getting it together. Force with a fantastic pick on Sarge there. It looks like uh, the T's might be able to pull this one off. But Zia returns the favor. And we've got a 4-4. Four four. Oh, Custom taking down Delinquent now. 4-3. A little bit more in, f in, in the favor for the CTs. Zio taking another pick there. Now we've got a 4-2. Zio going for the double. So now we have a 4 and one Link obviously trying his best to defend one of his guys. He gets picked off by Zio. Score now equal at 14 all. Well, this is uh, obviously a big turn of events here. Um, not something that uh, we were expecting. But uh, EC definitely came out of nowhere. How many rounds down? I think 12 rounds down. To easily come and collect 12 rounds... Sorry, they were 13 rounds down. They came to collect 12. I think it's all just team discipline and solid uh, composure by this team that is actually helping them here and giving them the favor. Both Lost Wolf and Garth walking right past Trauma. Trauma just picking up the kill there. Lost Wolf at least equaling out. Ooh. Almost getting the nade there by custom. He doesn't do so. Force coming from behind, but he gets picked off by Grems. Oh, and Custom gets the pick on Lost Wolf. We got, the, we got the decoy plants in B. Very good play from DC, but I don't know if they're going to be able to defend it. Link getting the double here. Now we've got a one-on-one. -on -one. Link has clutched already once in this game. Will he clutch again? Custom knows he's in bulk. He's going to try and play him a little bit. Oh, Link. Oh, but he gets picked off by Custom with a fantastic P250 shot. Wow. And EC have taken the lead. For the first time on this map, they have taken the lead. They are one round away of winning this game. Already one all up. Uh, previous score on Dust to 16-14. We're looking at another 16-14 here on Mirage by the looks of it. The T-side have managed to buy full armor and AKs. They could play. They are playing really hard for the draw. Maybe they get the picks or the pens. I think it is quite crucial for them to play the mid. 
They weren't playing mid too often here. You see now this specific area there. Oh, but unfortunately, uh, the stream has been cut short because of the DGL uh, servers. I do apologize for that. There's nothing much I can do about that. Uh, I did ask them to rather play on the intoxicated service because we did set the the Go TV um, the the Go TV timer a little bit longer so we can actually view the last round. Um, my assumption there is that uh, SA, uh, sorry EC has taken the, the map 1614. I uh, will just double check with them to see if they are going to be playing a third. How's it, guys? Uh, it looks like it was a 2 0 victory there for uh, Team EC. Uh, unfortunately, they won't be playing a third map. Um, just got confirmation from the captain there. Um, this weekend, uh, we're going to be casting the CSGO Sunday Cup at 3 o'clock onwards. So, obviously, all the preliminary games, etc., you know, the semi finals, all that will be casted. Myself and Solo will obviously start casting the finals and semis. Uh, together, but uh, you know, you guys can obviously find us here. Please like um, uh, the Nav Gaming TV uh, Twitch uh, or follow it at least. Um, as you guys can see, there 